very humiliating how one local healthcare worker describes discrimination within hospitals by colleagues. The nurse who spoke to TVJ News on the condition that her identity would not be revealed says facing discrimination from the public is hurtful, but from co-workers it's worse. Please note the images in this story are not related to where she works. Giovanni Dennis has this primetime news exclusive. We're all in this thing together. Come on, Jamaica. Cut the hate and don't discriminate. A COVID-19 admonition from the health minister. He has used almost every opportunity to thank healthcare workers on the front line fighting COVID-19. But among some healthcare workers, there is anything but a stop on discrimination. It's bad enough that you have to deal with the discrimination from persons you see on the road. For example, taxi drivers, but imagine dealing with discrimination from your own co-workers. This is one nurse who has to interact with patients being screened for COVID-19. She's not supposed to speak publicly and asked that we protect her identity. She's detailed discrimination from the public, even at home, but says she was not prepared for the discrimination from colleagues. Now imagine your own co-worker telling you that you're not allowed to dine at that place simply because you work at the accident and emergency department. These persons went on to say that they'll get manager to make signs saying that persons who work at the accident and emergency department are not allowed to have lunch or spend their break time at other dining areas. So imagine being scorned by your own co-workers. No, she wants to leave the accident and emergency department, not because of the difficulty in treating suspected COVID patients, but the scorn from co-workers she was looking to for support. Very humiliating, especially to know that these are your co-workers. They understand the fight, they understand the struggle, they understand the anxiety that you encounter every single time you hear somebody comes in saying that they have influenza-like illnesses. And even when you look to these persons for some word of encouragement, these are the persons that are scorning you and telling you that don't come over here, come eat, because you work at a &E. She insists she's not alone. She says she has spoken to colleagues who are experiencing similar discrimination and it's discouraging. Healthcare workers are already fearful, especially the persons assigned to the accident and emergency department. The last thing we need are persons within our field scorning us. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.